is, George, goes to a museum. Although the inside of the Woodlands Children's Museum is the temporary home of the traveling rambunctious monkey known as Curious George, outside you won't be able to find the man in the yellow hat. Instead, you'll find the man wearing a straw hat, and he goes by the name of Cowboy Jack. Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? That's right. With his camera woman wife, Andrea, by his side, John Havard has dedicated his day off from his nine to five to film the latest episode of the weekly children's show, all so their son can have educational entertainment. All right, let's go inside. When, when the pandemic first hit, it was like Zoom meetings all day, every day, right? And so um, we had to use the television to entertain our son. And then we find there's a lot of the kids' content out there but most of it's animated and then the stuff that's not animated is very animated still. It's characters that are using silly voices and doing goofy things and dancing around and things like that and what we really wanted for our son was Captain Kangaroo meets Mr. Rogers, you know, in a modern way. All right, see here we are at the man in the yellow hat's place. What initially started off as a venture for their son's development quickly developed into online success. With 18 million views in just a year and a half on YouTube, the Cowboy Jack Show has become one of the go-to programs for Texas-born kids. And John and Andrea couldn't be more thrilled to help out their fellow parents. We get messages all the time from different parents that say, oh, our kids love it, our whole family sits down and watches the show, so. Yeah, that's the goal, is to make it a show that's palatable for the whole family. There's the saying, you know, it takes a village. So the ability to give parents a break, to sit on the couch and relax for a second, or do dishes, or pay bills, or, you know, check the mail, anything like that, without feeling guilty about turning on the television for their child. Because we're literally just trying to you know, show them it's fun, but it's also educational. And so I want there to constantly be value brought to the child through watching the show. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, why well, couldn't come to the museum without taking a quick break to do a little bit of fishing? You guys wanna come fishing with me real quick? Over the last year, this dynamic duo has done stories on everything from fishing and cooking to laundry and recycling. But no matter how many episodes they produce, the message always remains the same. Educational entertainment for kids is worth the effort. And though John and Andrea haven't made a single penny off their work, their love for teaching children is more than enough payment. Do you think this is something that as your kids get older, you'll grow out of, or do you want to keep this going? I, I we can't. would like to keep it going. I'd love to keep it going because it's literally, I mean, it's. You know, it's a hobby, but it's also a passion. Like, it's an obsession of ours, and I just, I, I couldn't bear to let it go. <laughs> our, our most popular episode was uh, Cowboy Jack Goes to the Dentist. And we didn't understand the depth of what we were doing when we were filming it. We were just showing kids it's not scary to go to the dentist. But what we get every single week is a message from a parent of a child who has some sensory disability or is on the spectrum, and they're saying, we went to the dentist for the first time having a fantastic experience because they were at ease because of your show. And to me, that's the sauce. That's the magic that makes this all worthwhile. Okay, I'm ready. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, until I see you next time, yeah! Looking for more stories like this one? Just hit the subscribe button for more great stories about Texas and Texans.